But as we continue on today, you know, some people love to get to the lake to get away, even, even in the cooler weather. But there's others that don't have to travel quite so far to enjoy the beauty of the outdoors. Our Good Life guy, Brian Ganusi, joins us now with a lot more. Good morning, Brian. How are you? Good morning. Very good. Good. Very good. This is another one of our Guide to the Good Life segments. We take you to meet Randy and Deb Aldrich in Holdridge. They've created a little sanctuary full of lots of colors and aromas right in their own backyard. From the front, the Aldridge house looks about like any other normal house on the block, but step into the backyard and normal turns to wow. I kind of feel like this is our our lake. You know, a lot of people go to the lake and what have you. This is kind of our our place where we come out to every evening or on the weekends. We spend a lot of time together out here. To me, it's therapy after a long day, and some of them get long, as we all know, and you come out here and you're just totally relaxed. Once we got the deck done, I think we started making more progress with, you know, more annuals like hanging baskets and things on the fence and what have you, I guess. Yeah, it took a lot of years. I mean, it didn't happen overnight for sure. Actually, she calls that a deck. I call it a plant stand <laughs> because we That's never true. are up there. It's full of plants all the time. <laughs> One of the biggest differences in flower preferences between the two of them is, do you plant more annuals or more perennials? I love annuals, I think, just because it's instant color. Instant gratification, I guess you might say, um, more so than having to wait for things to develop. That's I, I just love the instant color. You know, and when she brings them home, well, then we, we load them up and we got to find a home for them somewhere. <laughs> I like perennials because it's a one-time cost. I don't have to spend the money she spends on <laughs> annuals every year, and I love it that it comes back up every year. You put them all in, what you think's gonna grow here, and then you find out in that process that some plants don't like it here, and they tell you all about it. Randy and Deb say about the only downside to having such a beautiful yard, winter. I do not like winter. <laughs> I do not look forward to having to tear out all my flowers. I, I love the summer, the spring and summertime. As for weeding all of these flower beds, Randy says, that's no problem. I love to weed because you can look behind you and see how clean it is as you go <laughs> and you're making progress. People comment that haven't been here and I say, yeah, it is a lot of work, but it's labor of love. I don't think it's work. Brian Ganuzzi, NTV's Good Life, Holdridge. The Aldriches offer a few pieces of advice for others wanting to add more flowers to their backyard. Stick with it. But if the flowers keep telling you, like Randy says, that they don't like a spot by not growing well, listen to them. Try them in another location or just give them to friends and try again somewhere at simply something else. <laughs> give my friends my yes, give them away. Yeah. Yeah. So. Dried up flower pot. I loved it. I wish yeah. they would come to my yard. <laughs> I, that that's was, how I want my yard to look. That was gorgeous. And I, it's it's a labor wow. of love. It is. You can For tell. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And he was doing the right thing because we learned this year with your um, blooming flowers that you are supposed to trim them mm -hmm. back like that. Um, you know, Elyria Gardens, our friends at Elyria Gardens told us. But you know, I always have a hard time because they look so pretty, mm -hmm. but yeah. look how beautiful they It looks a little them. harsh, but he, they've done it enough years that they that's yeah. the way to go, so. Yes, Very wow, nice. they certainly need Sertoma Yard of the Month or you know, any kind of award that they give out. But I did you learn that. any tricks for your yard? That do you know? <laughs> not, not really, other than to wander over to theirs to really appreciate what a beautiful backyard looks like. Yeah, Ours absolutely. is fine. My wife yes. does a great job with her garden, but uh, that's a lot of work that I'm yeah. not up for, I guess. That so. is just a gorgeous backyard. Yeah. I could just probably just stay in. I mean, you captured it so beautifully. Yeah. So. Yeah. Very good. nice. Good story. Thank yeah, you, Brian. Good. You're very welcome. Appreciate it.